the first Latino superhero film. El Chicano tells the story of two brothers who end up on different sides of the law. One a cop torn between playing the book by the book of uh, justice and then uh, becoming a vigilante. It stars George Lopez and Raul Castillo. They join me live with the very latest on the film. So good morning, guys. How's it going? What's up, Elise? Good morning, Elise. Hey, good morning. Okay, let's get right into it. I read something. I love this. It described the movie as basically Daredevil, a hint of the Punisher, and some Mexican urban legends, and then you get El Chicano. <laughs> so how would you describe the film? I mean, I, I'll, I would describe it as an all Latino cast with, you know, a badass superhero in the lead, and it's the first time we're seeing a film like this. So, uh, yeah, that's how I would describe it. How and you, you don't have to be, uh, you don't have to be Latino to enjoy this movie. You all, we also won't keep you three hours. You know, we get our business done. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you won't uh, split your spleen watching El Chicano. You'll just have a good time. Oh, my gosh. Too funny. I'm, I'm loving uh, taking jabs. But we, we've mentioned this, and you just mentioned it as well, this all Latino cast. It's a big deal. It really is. So how did it feel to be a part of the, the first ever for a superhero I mean, it was, it was, it, yeah. I, I, there's, you can't, there's nothing, that, there's no precedent for it. So we had to kind of invent, reinvent the wheel in, in a way because, I, I mean, I've never been on a set like this where you're looking around and all the talent is Latino and, and, and it's all exceptional talent and people who are accomplished like George, like Kate Del Castillo, like Amy Garcia, like, you know, Mr. Criminal. There's like so many people on this, on, in this film that are just incredibly accomplished in their own right. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like Voltron. We're all coming together. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. know? <laughs> you know, the, uh, dur during one of the scenes, uh, a big elaborate scene, uh, uh, Homeland Security came to the set to uh, check credentials, but, uh, you know, as superheroes, we all had our documentation and they were, you all had they it. were sent home with zero. Yeah, nobody. You were good to go. I got to mention this too. You know, we think of you, George, as being a funny guy. I mean, this is a serious role though. So not the first time you played a serious role, but what was it like, you know, mm -hmm. kind of ditching funny for El Chicano? You know, it, 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 it's, a, it's a good turn. Uh, you know, a lot of the, you know, Billy Crystal or Jackie Gleason, Michael Keaton, Robin Williams, uh, a lot of uh, guys had their start in stand-up. You know, I don't, I don't think that you can have a tough life and not be able to take a little dramatic turn in, in a film. You know, these guys, Raul is so great to work with. I have a lot of my scenes with him. And when, you know, if you ever play tennis, you play with somebody who's better, they make you better. He made me, he made me better. I like that. Well said and very sweet. You know, this was this was scripted from life experience. This is interesting of director Ben Hernandez Bray. His brother died due to due to street violence. And did you get a sense of that as you were filming that this was something that was deeply personal for him? Absolutely. Absolutely. He, he, there's a, it, it, ben is all heart. And uh, he was obviously bringing it like to he was sort of bring it, you know, his heart to this film. And, and uh, you felt it. I mean, everyone kind of brought their A game because of it. Like, I felt like everyone who came to this set was like, bringing their best because we all felt that, that this was an important story to, to Ben and it all started there in the writing process for sure. Yeah, you know, in, in real life, uh, we usually wouldn't open the door to a rogue family member, but we wouldn't have a movie if we <laughs> if we didn't open the door. Uh, you know, we don't, we're not good at interventions because, you know, we usually... Uh, you can't get us together unless you have alcohol and drugs. <laughs> Gotta have it. Hey, it works out well in El Chicano. Guys, thank you so much for your time. We sure appreciate Thanks, it. Really. Thank you. Thank you. And our thanks to right. Briarcliff Entertainment for providing production assistance with today's interview. El Chicano opens in theaters on Friday.